Now to the reason I came here to find you. I made contact with Captain Siravane. She agreed to help defend Vastir, but only if she can recover her ship from the Dread Sails. We'll have to hurry. I fear the Sea Elves and the Fire Song will strike soon. How did you get in touch with Captain Siravine? Well, truth be told, she contacted me. Easier to get a message to Castle Mernard than to find a Sea Elf hiding in the wilderness. When Sea Lord Nalas rejected King Orgnum's orders, he seized Siravane's ship and scattered her crew. She needs our help. Why send me, exactly? Specifically, she requested I send you to help her. She'll meet you on the Castle Tenere docks on the western shore. Do whatever you need to, but make sure she recovers her ship. We need the Gilded Blades when the assault on Bastyr begins. I'll meet Captain Siravane and I'll help her recover her ship then. Go to the docks near Castle Tenere and help Captain Siravane recover her vessel. I'll escort Archdruid Raval back to Vastir and incorporate the druids into our defenses. Join us there as soon as you can. By the green, we will weather this storm. Archdruid Raval, Jen. are you and the Stone Lord ready to depart for Vastir? We are. Laurel, take free and hide in the wilderness. They cannot fall into Orthe's hands. But I... Yes, Archdruid. I understand. Okay, go to the western shore. Uh, before we do that though, I might just get that Sky Shard. And... I might also get this quest over here. We might do that at the same time. It's down here somewhere. Elder Pitov. Where are you, Elder Pitov? Aha. An outsider. Well, if this is Ifre's will. Come here, please. Outsider, I fear for my wife, my Gwenael. A group of Firesong druids attacked our home in Ifre's path. I managed to escape the slaughter, but Gwenael's still in there. I tried to go back for her, but the path has grown more dangerous. More dangerous than the Firesong druid attackers? Yes, Outsider. Animals lash out. The spirit motes that once inspired us blanket the land in a thick fog. The spirit of the path may be injured or frightened. I do not know what the Fire Song want or how they turn my home against me. Tell me about the spirit of the path. The spirit of Ifray's path. We call it the Chronicle. We Elder Tide made our home here to care for and tend to the spirit. Outsider, I'm trusting you. I'm putting my wife's safety in your hands. Help me find her. And I will see you well rewarded. I'll help you find your wife. The entrance to the path is just over there. I'll meet you on the steps down into the Sacred Valley. There we can find out what happened to my Gwenael. But first, let me bless you against the dangers within. Oh, Ifri, let no overcast skies or snaring vines cloud the intention of our thoughts. Right. So, just down there. Okay, but before we do that, let me get that sky shot. I got that sky shot I gotta get. So it's up, it's up top, possibly. Sky shot, sky shot. Sky shot, there you are. I find you, sky shot. This gives us a good overlook of the area we're about to go into. All purpley. All purpley and stuff. Let's grab that book. Law book discovered. So that blessing he gave us must allow us to survive down here, I guess. Oh, mercy, the moats are even thicker now. As he makes his way down. Got 
of this purpley lilac hue all over the area. Small relief. Motored crocodile. Simba. Druid Senna's last account. The fire song, they've come to kill us. This may very well be the last record of Druid Senna. It's not my best work, but what death letter is. My instincts serve me better than my poor friends and family when the fire song attacked. I watched their lives extinguish beyond the boulder that hid me from view. The fire song stalked ever closer to my hiding place, their weapons drawn and flames raised high, but the most curious thing happened. The spirit moats, which we've all experienced before, cascaded down in a thick blanket over the valley. It settled on the fire song, their shapes all but silhouettes in the fog. They struggled for only a moment before their arms fell to their sides. I thought they'd fall to the floor in a deep slumber, but they marched toward the waterfall and disappeared from view. I don't know what happened to them after that, but it unnerved me. The moats surround me, and animals prowl all about. I fear I won't survive this, but my account must. Someone has to know what happened. The Chronicle, we have to keep it safe. It tells us who we are. Druid Senna saw the moat cloud form? It's like nothing I've encountered. We found some troubling things, Outsider. We found the last notes of Druid Senna and a group of dead Elder Tide. But my Gwinael is still among the missing. What do you think, Outsider? What do your non-Druid senses tell you? The Spirit of Moats mention in Druid Senna's note, they said they behaved differently. Yes, the Chronicle grows plants called Muse Mouths, which release a small amount of Spirit Moats when we commune with it. The Moats show us the stories. They've never threatened or harmed us before. And they never appeared as great clouds either. So why is this cloud of moats dangerous? Other than the thick concentration, I'm not sure. Druid Senna mentioned that the fire song caught in the fog lowered their weapons and then marched off as if in a trance. This is very strange. And your wife wasn't among the dead elder side we found? No, but the others all lived in our community. And from the looks of it, they were killed by the fire song attackers. They must have been surprised. There are no fire song druids among the dead. But there's also no sign of my wife. Well, that's good. It means Gwinnale might still be alive. Didn't Senna's note also mention a waterfall? Not finding my wife could mean anything. All we know is that she's not here. She could be anywhere. But yes, let's go check the waterfalls to the north. That's where druid Senna's note said the fire song druids went after the spirit boats descended. Is there any significance to the waterfalls? The waterfalls? I'd rather not discuss the waterfalls. That area is very private, not a place for those outside our circle. Still, if that's where the Fire Song Druid went, we need to check. We haven't seen any Fire Song Druids yet. There were a lot of them in the raiding party. They must be somewhere. Come on, the waterfall's on the north wall of the valley. Let's keep looking. That waterfall right there. Fear 
around that firestorm druid. This won't hold her long. Must go. Join. It calls me. What are you talking about? Join who? The spirit of the path. It calls to us. We must go. Defend it. Protect it. And what do you need to defend the spirit from? Attacked. Frightened. It needs us. It must be defended. Defend! Defend! Wait! Not in there! What? Over here, outsider! It appears that the spirit modes do more than just tell us stories, outsider. That fire song druid's mind was clearly being influenced, if not outright controlled. But why is the Chronicle doing this? It never exhibited hostile behavior before. Why aren't the spirit modes affecting us in the same way? The blessing I bestowed upon us before we set out must be keeping the modes at bay. Given the power we just saw, I'm not sure how much longer that protection will last. I suppose you'll need to accompany me into the tunnels. Tunnels? Is this what you were hesitant about? That these are tunnels hidden behind the waterfalls? It is a sacred place, outsider. The tunnels lead to ritual chambers, the muse mouth plants, and to the spirit of the path, the Chronicle. Hopefully, my Gwenaire is also somewhere inside. Ephraim's path. Strangler. I don't like those plants. You try to run away from them, they yank you right back. Oh, we got another chest. Man, chests everywhere. Just a simple chest, but a chest is a chest. Look on that platform. What's a forest break doing here? I have no idea, but I just spotted another chest. Everywhere, it's crazy. We want to get up there somehow. Feels good to get the blood pumping, right? Sure does. All the fire song are here. Going crazy over there. A muse mouth. It has a story to tell us, outsider. I can sense it. Examine the plant. My gift to you. Tell us how to access the Chronicle, or this is your fate. No! How could you? Gwynel, and the Chronicle. Did you see it too? I saw it. The spirit is trying to tell us something. I saw it. It raised bones. What happened to the Chronicle? Outsider, this is the Chronicle, the spirit we commune with, but it's grown dark. 
Can you feel the anger radiating from it? The sadness? I don't like the looks of this. Why would the Chronicle feel sad? The Chronicle's always been more emotional than other nature spirits. It comprehends the experience of mortals and feels our emotions vicariously through the stories it shares. I've felt its calm, its joy, and even its grief. But this... We saw the fire song kill well to tired druids. Could that have something to do with this? Perhaps. But there's a depth to this emotion I've never felt before. It unnerves me. Let's hurry. My Gwinael is in here somewhere, and my fear for her safety grows with every passing moment. The door is just over there. Another Musemouth plant. I sense the Chronicle has more to show us. You refuse to give us Ifray's gift? Very well. We will just kill you and take the Chronicle. We can't just give you the Chronicle. The spirit is bound to this sacred place. Then we'll cut the Chronicle from the roots and... <coughs> What's happening? <coughs> spirit notes. Spirit Moat saved Gwinnell? But why do the Fire Song want the Chronicle? The Chronicle blessed us with another vision. We saw the Fire Song attack Elder Tide, threaten us to gain possession of the Chronicle. All this bloodshed. That could explain why the Spirit feels so guilty. But the Moats, it saved Grinnell. How did the Fire Song Druids learn about the Chronicle? Nature Spirits. Especially ones as strong as the Chronicle are known among the Circles. While the Fire Song rarely leave Iphelon, they've always been aware of our spirit. Some even traveled here to partake of its stories. Why would the Fire Song Druids try to take the Chronicle? Obviously, the Chronicle is capable of more than we ever gave it credit for. Recording and showing recent events, influencing the minds of people and animals. But why druids would want access to that kind of power, I can barely speculate. The Fire Song are trying to gather the sacred seeds from the other circles. Could this be related? They want our sacred seed? Whatever for? It doesn't matter. If they wanted to learn more about the sacred seeds, then the Chronicle would be a good entity to ask. It must have stories from the age of the last druid king. What was that? Where did that Finwich come from? Don't underestimate us. Imba, Imba, Imba. Such a cheerleader. I have an idea. Such a high concentration of spirit motes is dangerous. The blessing won't protect us from this. Worse, vines seal the doors beyond. I think I have an idea, though. What's your idea for getting past the cloud of spirit motes? The muse mouth plants in the room ahead are bloated, spewing out huge clouds of spirit motes. I can remove the vines that block the door, but I'm too old to withstand the motes in such concentrations. Luckily, I have a few vials of Ifray's rain. What's Ifray's rain? Purified water from a sacred waterfall. Gwinnell uses it to awaken those who sometimes get lost in the visions. The water causes muse mouth plants to shrink and close up for a time. Even ones bloated as much as these should react the same way. Right. Poor Ifray's rain. I 
knew it would. I'll clear the vines. Great! Chronicle, have a look. What's happening over there? Those druids. They're transforming into forest wraiths. How is that? Gwenael. No, not you, please. Yep, her too. When? A forest wraith. No! My Gwenael, my guiding light. We were so close to reaching her. And she slipped through my fingers. The spirit turned her into a forest wraith. Why did your wife transform into a forest wraith? Legends tell us that the green and its spirits can summon forest wraiths to protect themselves. The Chronicle felt threatened, so it did the same. I'm not sure if this is how all forest wraiths are created, but we saw what the Chronicle did. Is there a way to return your wife to her original form? Possibly. The Chronicle transformed Gwynel into one of those things. It should be able to turn her back and return her to me. I know I've asked a lot of you, but please, come with me. We need to talk to the Chronicle. Convince it to release her. I'll help you. All right, outsider. Let's go find my Gwynael and convince the Chronicle to transform her back into my beloved wife. You just think about how we're going to do that, actually. Along the way. Some more Ephraim's rain. Bloated muse mouths. Up top here. And we got one more. This way, I'll do a forest wraith. I expected to find fire song druids in here, especially given the size of their invading force. But the wraiths. Those creatures only appear in the most dire circumstances. Oh, gotta wait for Elder Pitoff to do his thing. Anytime, Elder Pitoff. No, oh, okay, he's following me. Gotta take you somewhere.
Pit off, come on. Right. This way. There. That's my Gwen just ahead. Outsider, the Chronicle won't talk to me. You must convince it to let us go. Druids attacked! Why spill blood on holy ground? Afraid, confused. Actions come as waves crashing against the shore. I don't understand. Story unclear. Tell again. Druids of the path attacked, killed, chronicle shocked, angry, spirit motes released, cannot hold back the wind, created wraiths to defend the path, lost control. There must be some way to stop this. It's corrupted by blood, anger, bindings tainted, spirit unwell. The Chronicle must end. Use if rays rain on roots, break bindings. Cleanse corruption. End the story. Will that release the druids from the moats and revert the rates back to normal? It is the only way. Pour the sacred water. Close the current book. End the anger. The sorrow. The mistake. This is what the Chronicle wants, what the story needs, please. Alright, I'll pull a phrase rain on the roots. Please Gwen, I know you're in there, just hold on. Gwenelle, you're back! Hitov? What happened? Everything is fine, Gwenelle. Outsider, come. We owe you so much. I can hardly believe my eyes. My Gwenelle, as radiant as the day I first set eyes upon her. I thought I'd lost her. But the Chronicle, the spirit of the path, what a terrible price to pay to set things right. The Chronicle told me to pour Ifre's rain on its roots and the spirit orb. You did what it asked of you, what you had to do, but don't despair. I felt its anger slip away. Its intentions were pure, outsider. Things just got out of hand. It was the actions of the fire song that tainted the spirit, corrupted it. It said it was defending the path. 
It used its moats to try to stop the fire song, created the wraiths to protect our home. But it knew it went too far, like a bee whose sting causes its own death. It reacted in desperation. I hope it finds peace now, back in the green. Will Gwynale be all right? Yes, Gwen is strong. She'll recover quickly. But she would have been lost to me without your help. Please, accept this. You ended a great danger and rescued my Gwynale from a terrible fate. I just wish the Chronicle was still with us. We may have lost the Chronicle, but my Gwynale is safe. And all because Ifray chose to send me an outsider. Life is strange, my friend. What will become of Ifray's path without the Chronicle? We'll rebuild. Ask more Elder Tide to join us. For too long we've relied on the Chronicle to show us our past. To tell us our stories. It's time for us to take responsibility for our own memories, I think. Is Ifray's path safe now? It will be. Once the spirit motes disperse and the remaining fire song are driven off. Without a spirit, Gwen and I will become the Chroniclers. We'll remember and record our stories and our history. Share it with all who wish to hear. Did all that really happen? The fire song, the forest wraiths. The Chronicle saved you in its own way. It was angry, that much I remember. The bloodshed, our friends. We'll grieve for them. And for the Chronicle. We lost a lot this day. The Chronicle is really gone? Its final act was to release you, dear Gwen. What now, husband? Now, we thank Ifray and tell our own stories. Right. Let's leave those two. We'll get back out there. We've got our own main quest yeah. to sort out. But it was nice to help the fellow out and his wife. Back to Galen.